welcome to Online Advantage. I'm Professor Gonzalez. We're going to cover purchase discounts using the net method. Now this can be done with either periodic or perpetual, and I'll show you the difference as we go through it. So the first transaction is on October 1st, and we're purchasing $1,000 of inventory on credit. The terms are 210 net 30, but again, we're using the net method. So the journal entry will be to debit inventory on October 1st, but under the net method, we're going to assume we are taking the discount. So we're going to record it with the discount immediately. So the discount on the thousand dollars is going to be twenty dollars. It's a two percent discount. So we'll take the thousand and subtract the twenty dollars from it. That gives us nine hundred and eighty dollars. So I'm going to record the inventory at the nine hundred and eighty dollars. And again, that was the thousand dollars times the 0 0.02, which gives me a $20 discount, and then subtracting the $20 from the thousand. I'm going to do this on credit because I got terms to 10 net 30. So I'm going to credit accounts payable for the 980. Now, if this was the periodic method, this would be the perpetual method. If this was the periodic method, the only difference would be this would be purchases instead of inventory. We would debit the purchases account. Now let's assume that we pay within the discount period. Say we pay on October 10th. And remember the terms were 210 net 30, so it's within the 10 day period. Then all that happens is we reduce accounts payable by the whole 980 because we already took into account the 2% discount. So we're gonna reduce accounts payable by 980 and we're gonna reduce cash. We're making the payment by 980. So that's one assumption. Now I'm gonna erase that and we're gonna assume we didn't take the discount. Instead, we paid on October 25th. Now our accounts payable has 980 in it, but we're gonna to have to pay more than that. We're gonna to have to pay the full 1000 because we did not pay within the 10 day discount period. But I'm gonna reduce accounts payable by the 980, the amount that's in it. That $20 discount that we recorded immediately here needs to go to an account called purchase discount lost of $20. And then the amount that we're actually paying is cash, which will be a credit to cash for the full $1,000. Debits equal credits. Thank you very much. I hope you found this video helpful.